when I think in my younger days, I really wanted to point out and do something about how development programs treated women and men, uh, did not treat them equally. The, the, the programs were not uh, designed for them. They were designed for their husbands, who, was the, who were the farmers, the fishers. So that realization alone uh, was very important, that government programs should realize that women do so much of the important things in agriculture. It was when I came to feminism that I realized, hey, so much of what we were planning never got done because I never talked to the women. The women were not part of it. We got the women together and we realized that not only that you could not just isolate the women. So we also in the process developed uh, a seminar for men. At first we said, oh, let's leave the men by themselves first. We have too, too few resources and we have to have first uh, help the women, okay? So we concentrated on the women. But after 15 years we thought, my goodness, if you do not educate the men, they are the perpetrators and this thing will, will go on and on. So we actually developed a module to make the men understand their own dynamics. Like when I meet them for the first time, I say to them, it's not your fault, but you have a, you have a virus in your computer. <laughs> and that virus is actually their sense of entitlement and their sense of proprietorship over women. You create uh, awareness among women, you create safe houses for them, you teach them their rights and so on. But if they're caught in a relationship that is both economically dependent on their spouses, uh, at the same time, fear, unless you started talking to the men, uh, it would be very difficult.